Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, it's kind of evening now here on a Friday. It was a pretty, pretty hot day today, actually. It was up in the 80s. Uh, been doing a lot of work with a new rig, with a new tractor, for sure. So uh, I figured we got about 14 hours on it. We've now put a good solid 10 hours on the machine, uh, mowing and put the rake on. We were doing some raking today in the section we cleared. and. Uh, so I figured we'd go over a few things of, you know, so far what we like and, you know, what we don't like as much um, and kind of go from there. So the first thing I noticed is during the mowing video is really could have used some more legroom for sure. But I was able to address that. So what I did is I actually pulled the seat out here. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, and I was able to actually scoot the seat back on the brackets. So we got that done, um, which gave me about another, oh, I'd say inch and a quarter, inch and a half of legroom, which was great. But then the problem was the gear selecting lever, not the big one there, but the smaller one for the ranges started digging into my leg. So then we actually popped that out, which is pretty easy. Um, pulled the boot off, a couple, you know, there's an inner boot, a couple of snap rings and a spring, popped that whole thing out. We were able to bring it in the shop and uh, and just kind of rebend it a little bit and get that a little bit more out of the way. So now it's perfect. We got plenty of leg room that no longer bothers my leg when I'm mowing. So that worked perfect. I mean, it really only bothered my leg in in middle range and B range, but that's the one we mow in. So it's going to be in that range probably 90% of the time. So we got it all set now and uh, and going good. Um, you can see we're a bit muddy. Actually, just gave her a quick rinse the other day, but we were out with a rake here working on some trails. Uh, we've been kind of raking the trails. I went out actually last night and brush hogged some of the lower trails that were getting a little overgrown with ferns and, and brush. Um, got that all taken care of. Um, then we put the rake on today with the quick hitch, which this is the first time we've had a quick hitch. This is a, a John Deere eye match, as you can see. Um, I've never had a quick hitch before and I actually really like it. It's a little hard. This rake is, as you can see, the rake is pretty tuned up. Uh, we really need to get a new one. It's been, it's been bent and beaten and, and crunched and it, we're going to replace it probably next year. Uh, actually we're probably going to replace it this fall when I get home from, from overseas and, uh, we start doing a lot of raking for the new pasture. Um, but it was cool. We got that all set. The, the biggest bummer is the mower does not fit on the quick hitch. So yeah, that was a real bummer. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, uh, we're actually, if we end up keeping this mower, I'm, I'm going to modify it so that it fits with a quick hitch. But I think we're probably going to be getting rid of this flail mower and going with a larger size. Um, this flail mower was originally bought for the 50 horsepower coyote tractor that we originally bought when we bought this property. Uh, now that we have a much larger machine, even the Mahindra, we were kind of contemplating it. But now with the deer having 75 horse, I mean, I can easily put an 80, 85 foot mower on that or 85, 85 inch mower on that. Um, it, it would just help knock the field down faster. Uh, so I think probably next summer, or maybe this fall even, we're probably going to trade that flail mower in and get a uh, get a, a larger size flail mower. Hopefully the larger flail mower will have the the right spacing so that the, uh, the eye match works. In fact, I'll make sure it does before we buy it. Hopefully we can get another sundown. Um, I've been really happy with that flail mower and the, the deer dealer actually does sell sundown stuff as well as the the frontier stuff that uh, uh deer the deer brand stuff so i guess we'll have to see so uh you know so far so good uh really it's it's done well it mowed great um you know we addressed the seat problem the only other thing that i think they could have done a little bit better with um, is the lifting and lowering of the three-point hitch um, most tractors that i've owned it's been mechanical where that three-point hitch it's you know you're you're right there you're you're actually controlling it on the the deer here it's actually run off these cables so because they're a cable there's a there's a little bit more slop in it um not that it's it's creating an issue by any means 
it's just not quite as nice as some of the other ones or or it would be if it was like mechanical geared where it's actually the lever is physically moving that like it has on some other tractors but other than that i don't really have any other complaints um it really is a nice machine you know we've done quite a bit of work at night um it lights everything up quite well um, no issues there mechanically so far within the 10 hours you know no issues it's run very well ac blows cold the heat blows hot not that we need the heat these days it's been been in the high 80s low 90s the last two days so all in all so far so good i just wanted to do a you know kind of quick update now that we've actually put some hours on it and it's going to be kind of a cruddy weekend weather wise we're going to get some more rain so i'm not sure how much more i'm going to be able to get done you know like i mentioned we've done some raking up on the area we cleared today but if it rains it's going to get too wet again it's actually still there's spots up there i couldn't do because it was too wet so unfortunately we're still battling wetness it seems like we had to wait all spring for it to dry out and now summer with all the rain now we gotta wait for it to dry out again so that is uh you know unfortunately mother nature is mother nature and it is what it is so you know we'll we'll get what we can get done we're gonna give her a bath right now so i'll uh show you guys that i got the hose down here we're gonna hit the pressure washer give her a good good bath because she definitely got pretty mucky and muddy earlier when we were uh out on we were out on the lower field we just gave a quick rake the whole way around you know wanted to get a good raking in some of the real muddy spots and it definitely shows it definitely got kind of gunky so we're gonna uh get the pressure washer going and uh give her a give her a bath
All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this one. It's getting real buggy and starting to get later. So uh, like I always say, if you like these videos, subscribe, hit the like button, and leave us a comment. Comment, tell us what you think. And just remember, we'll see you in the next one, and it'll be all right.